Hi. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Suzanne Interviews Porn Stars. Hooray. Yay. I'm so excited. What's your name? Margot Fay. And how long have you been making porn? For five months. And what was the most surprising part of it? I think um, the most surprising part has been um, honestly like how much fun I have outside of like the actual like porn part of it. Yeah. Talking to people and getting to travel mm -hmm. and getting to see all these new things like that was really exciting for me. Um, just being able to like do these things for work mm -hmm. was really special and you can't get that with a lot of jobs. What's the best place you've traveled? Um, so far, I haven't traveled to many places, but I will say, like, being able to go to Malibu and say I've even just been to Malibu was phenomenal. I know that sounds super no, basic. No, I love that. But it's, it was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So. It's an experience. Yeah. So I really like that. And I also, I mean, even just Miami, mm -hmm. like, the beaches aren't as pretty as here. But, but just. warmer. Yeah. And the city is gorgeous, mm -hmm. and, you know, it's just nice to be able to, like, personally for me, like, solo traveling mm -hmm. is really great, and without having a reason to travel for work, usually when I'm traveling, I have to travel with friends because it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. So being able to travel by myself is amazing. I get to do what I want. Yeah. I get to stay where I want. I get to eat where I want. I get to go travel and do mm -hmm. like all the adventures I want to do on my own I love that. and I also get to make money mm -hmm. and like do work too so so I've got a question do you like donuts I love donuts okay well these aren't real donuts these are pop and cooking Tanoshi <laughs> donuts that sounds honestly phenomenal. It's DIY candy for kids, and we're gonna make them. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> that looks so exciting. I've never done. By the way, this is all like the advice for like ad uh, supervising adults. We don't. Okay. We yeah, we're fine. We're good. Yeah. So, Ooh. This is, oh, it's got like lines of where to cut it because it's gonna be like our little picnic basket. That's so oh, cute. This is confusing. Okay, it's very confusing. Though. Where did you find this? There's this really cute little Japanese store over in West Hills. Okay. And they've got all sorts of things like this, all different kinds of treats. They also have like dishes and hair ties. They've got like oh, wow. everything. Yeah. Good thing I'm hungry. This is perfect. Well, it's I don't know if it's gonna be good, but we'll find out. I think, I feel like it will be. I don't know if it's gonna be fulfilling. But I think it's gonna... There's our picnic basket. Oh my gosh, they look so cute. Oh, we might need... Do we... Need, I don't know if we need those. We might need those later. We'll okay. Okay. Instructions are first make dough. Oh wait. First is cut. Oh wow. Nice. It gives you the whole kit. We got everything. Okay. Perfect. So the first thing we need to do is cut the tray. Wow. Okay, you're going to be in charge of that piece. Okay. I think that's our measuring cup. All right, I'm really nervous. Hopefully I don't like break it. I just break it in <laughs> half right now. It's like, oh, all right, video over. So Ooh. let's talk about what you do when you're not shooting. Yes. What, what are like your hobbies? Okay, so I'm like a grandma. I'm so serious. My hobbies, everyone always gets so confused. Uh, number one hobby is puzzles. <gasps> Yeah? Yeah, I love doing puzzles. Um, I used to have like a puzzle table that was my grandparents that I used a lot. It's like back home now, it's not in Austin where I live, but we're my hometown in Atlanta. But yeah, it's amazing. I just love being able to sit down. My phone is out of sight. I'm just doing puzzles two hours go by. You know, not even a third of the way through these puzzles because mm. I do a thousand pieces or more. Oh always. wow. So yeah. they're, are they big or just small pieces? It's usually like small, small pieces, but I I can do like a 500 piece puzzle in, in one sitting. Oh, yeah. okay, so that's pretty it's, impressive. It, when you don't do puzzles a lot and you think about it, like 500 pieces sounds a lot, it's really not. So that's like one thing that I do a lot. I also bird watch. I like bird watching. Oh. Yeah, like very grandma-esque hobbies. Yeah. Like things that, things that you would imagine like your grandparents doing in their retirement home. Okay. You know? Uh, what else? Card games. I love card games. What's your favorite card game? Uh, it's called Nerds. It's like a multiplayer kind of speed solitaire. It's really fun. So. Speed solitaire? Basically, yeah. It's just 
It's just like a fast pace. Like you, you gotta time be the yourself? fastest. Like how this no, is but since you're playing with other people, oh. you're trying to like get rid of your cards faster okay. than they are. But you can only set cards up in the solitaire manner. Okay. So it's basically like that. It's really fun, but um, to me, it's it fun to me. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Um, and I'm competitive, so that kind of gets out my competitive side. And then other than that, I do scuba diving. Really? So, yeah. Where'd you learn to scuba dive? I learned in Australia. Really? Wow. Yeah. Really fun. That's really So cool. I'm an advanced certified scuba diver. <gasps> and I'm actually moving to Australia at the end of the year. Wait, what? Yeah. What? I just got my visa accepted yesterday. Wow. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. I, yeah, so I got to, that's why I like celebrated last night. I got oh, my I visa accepted. Yeah, it can take up to four months for them to accept it. It took them three days to accept mine. So very lucky. Nice. But yeah, so I'm moving there at the end of the year and I'm hoping to work like on a dive boat. Doing oh, just so like dive tours fun. at the Great Barrier Reef. That would be so much fun. Yeah, so diving is really fun. Um, it's something that I like, I really just enjoy the peacefulness of like mm. being in the water. And you get to see all these creatures around you. What's the coolest thing you've seen, like animal? What, what are, um, animal I got to swim or? and scuba dive with nursing sharks. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, that was really cool. And then also, um, that was in the Keys. And then in Australia, they have a shark called a wabi gong shark. And it doesn't really look like a shark, but it is. And it was about, I think, uh, like six feet long. And... Um, you know, it was sleeping, so oh, it wasn't really that scary. That's still scary, though. But I they think can this, wake, they can wake up. Right. <laughs> I think the scariest thing that I've seen underwater was an eel. Oh. Those things are angry, and if you're in their territory, like, it's over. So they get really mad. But, yeah, so that's my main, like, that's hobby, amazing. I would say. And then I just like doing relaxing things that, like, take my mind off of the crazy world around us. So that's good. Yeah, I've got a job for you. Okay. So you are going to knead the dough. Ooh. And then you're gonna make it into two little balls, apparently. Okay. I don't even know how to. Do I just punch it? I mean, basically, you want to make it so it's like not so green. Green. Yeah. I, guess. I feel like even just like trying yeah. to roll it into like one ball at first. Yeah. Will do really well. Okay. This is working. Is it? Okay. Cool. Yeah. Just gonna like roll it a little bit. Yeah. It'll get there. Have you ever made donuts before? I have not, but I, I'm a big dessert person. Okay. So donuts are great. Okay, I split it evenly, I feel like. Okay, so step two is make donuts. So you <laughs> put that into the little donut mold if you want to do the circle or the Ooh. flower one. Okay, so I guess it doesn't matter if it's in a perfect shape because it's Because you're going to reform get, it, yes. Yeah. Okay, getting it in there. I think I did a perfect um, <gasps> size too. That looks pretty. That looks great. Yeah, looks pretty good to me. As perfect as it would get. Am I doing that too? Yeah, do them both. Okay, I wasn't sure. Oh no, this one's a little bit more tough. I'm not seeing the shape there. You've got it. I feel like the shape's on the other side. We just can't see it. Yeah, yet. when it comes out. Okay. Perfect. Little donuts. Look at that. It doesn't say how to get them out. Maybe you just have to flip it over and like smack it a little bit. Maybe. So now your measuring cup comes into play. Okay. We need one triangle of water in here. Okay. In here? It's gonna you're gonna put it in that and, and then it's gonna, it's gonna, gonna yeah. Okay. Wow. This is very exact measurements. Oh Long, gosh. I okay. spilled you're a little fine. bit. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> One triangle of water. There we go. Can you tell I like don't bake? That's fantastic. Or cook. Okay. Lots of frozen foods in, in my you don't cook at all? I'm not. A, I, I try to a little bit, but I'm currently living with a kitchenette. Oh. I'm, in, I'm kind of, yeah. My living situation is just very interesting right now. So, um, but yeah, so I don't have a oven. 
Okay. I have like a stove top and I have two microwaves and an air fryer. Oh, air fryer is great. Air fryers are lifesavers for sure. But yeah, so I don't have the traditional kitchen setup. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of harder to cook some things. But I'm a big Trader Joe's person. Oh. And they have lots of like nice frozen meals mm -hmm. that don't make you feel like, ew, I'm eating a frozen meal right now. Yeah. And you can add your own like fresh ingredients to it if you so desire. Trader so, Joe's is great. Yeah, they have a lot of great options. Ooh. Glad that we're both, yeah, don't more worry. on the same page. I do too. Do you cook a lot? I don't, Dan cooks. Okay. <laughs> that's good. Okay. I'm just, that's what Let's I'm hoping see. for in my future too. Let's I'm see. hoping I never have to like fully learn and I'll just get Just lost. have someone else do it for you. Do you think they'll like pop out? Is that what it says? It doesn't say, but we gotta get these out and make the chocolate ones next. It just says mold and remove donuts. So yeah. I don't wanna like mess up the shape. I feel like I'm messing it up. Oh, I feel like you kind of have to. Hmm. Okay. I think you're doing the best you can, you know? <laughs> That's you're all like that matters. You're like my motivational speaker. Yeah. Oh shit. At the end of the day, just a little donut. Okay, we got one. Okay, that looks cute. Oh, that's really cute. Yeah, let's see how this one turns out. I feel like... Okay, it does go back, kind of. Okay. This one's gonna be much harder. You think so? Yeah, there's all these bubbles. Is it coming? Yeah, I got it. I got a look. Boom. Okay. Okay. So now you're gonna do the same thing with the chocolate dough. Perfect. Those look cute. They are very cute. Yum. Good thing I also just washed my hands too. So that was part of the instructions. I washed mine. Okay. <laughs> I didn't get to I it. just assumed you had. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This seems to be in good shape. Okay. Now I just need to try to get it evenly in half. It smells good. It smells like real chocolate. Does too. it? It does. Oh my god! Yeah. Must be the cocoa powder? Must be. Must be. Okay. There's a wet spot. We're just gonna ignore that. It's not there. I'm sure Dan will clean it. Oh. <laughs> that Dan guy, he's so good. He's good at cleaning and cooking and errands and is, chores. There's only one shovel, so it's really hard to like mix them. Like I'm gonna have to mix chocolate with strawberry. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Is that working? It is. It's very like squishy, which is kind of helpful. Mm. But I feel like there's more dough than these molds can like take in. Like just like a little bit too much, right? Yeah, which is fine. Yeah. I mean more, more for us to, to eat, I guess, if they're good enough. But yeah, okay. This one's looking a little bit funky, but I think it's gonna be fine. Okay. So this is gonna go in. This is complicated, guys. This is a lot. <laughs> like I, I feel like I'm making like a real pie or something right now. <laughs> there's so many steps. Yeah. And there's so many things. Okay. Okay, great. I'm gonna, should I take them out? Yes, go for it. Great. Okay. Boom. Okay. Now I need your help. Okay. I need you to <laughs> hold this open. Okay. So I can shovel this chocolate syrup. Oh gosh. This is high tech. This, yeah. This is baking expertise. You can make this at home though, because you don't need to bake it. Yeah, this can be my little dessert every night. Mm -hmm. And you can decorate them. Okay, so now we can decorate. So we have, I'm gonna cut a hole in this apparently, but this has got chocolate. Oh well, it's gonna be fine. We have strawberry, vanilla, okay. sprinkles, Ooh. and crumbs. 
Oh. What sort of crumbs? Like donut crumbs? They are, in fact, like donut I crumbs. I hope. I just, you know, the word, like, crumbs itself, that was a little oh, bit. Oh, true. You know, I'm like, what, so what are we putting this. on? Let's, let's, like, wipe this off on the chocolate. Perfect. Should we just do, like, at least, like, one of each? Yeah. I feel like. Did they give us more chocolate icing than the rest, or? It looks about the same, but it's like it's a different consistency. These look thicker. Okay. So I think those will like stay, and then this one you kind of drizzle. Oh, so you can use like all of them, I guess. Yeah, go on for it. One. I'm trying to. I think I'm gonna do a strawberry on the on the plain donut. Yeah. And see what's. That's kind of a lot of icing. I don't know if I want that much. Do a little dabble. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. It's getting there. I don't know if I would like post it on like my Instagram, but it looks kind of cute. It's very cute. Okay, what should we do next? Do you want to add some sprinkles to it? Yes, that would look adorable. Yes. Okay. Let me not spill these everywhere. Mm -hmm. All right. Gently. Aww, okay. This is so cute. This is really cute. There's little hearts. Boom. Okay. I'm gonna do The this. icing tastes very much like strawberry. Does it? It does. I'm gonna do some strawberry on here. Just like a chocolate covered strawberry. Yeah. Yum. Right? That sounds really good. Is there enough in there? Well, yeah, I don't want to cross contaminate too much. That way you can still use another one if you want to. And then Perfect. I'm gonna to try to drizzle this. We'll see how we'll see how well this works. Okay. And then Oh. 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 Okay, oh. it's not it's not going great, guys. <laughs> it's not going great. It's definitely on the donut. Okay. It's on the donut. It's on there. So. Oh, let me put some crumbs on. Ooh. We're getting crazy over here. Oh. So this is a chocolate covered strawberry chocolate fudge crumb. Yum. Okay. And we're going to try them? Yeah. Let's do it. And then we can try the other ones? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That All right. weird. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. I'm not mad. It's better than I expected mm -hmm. it to be. <laughs> okay. Right? Yeah. It it has still like a gummy flavor to it. Mm. But it's not overwhelmingly gummy. Yeah. Which I like because it's supposed to be like bread cake consistency. Yeah. I think it almost has a cakey consistency. It's, it's like close. close. Yeah. As much as you can get with powder and water, <laughs> you know? Like it, it did what it And you said you don't cook. Come on. I mean, like, I would, like, I'm I'm excited to eat the next okay, one. Okay, do you want you know? chocolate for the next one? Yes. Okay. Let's do a little Rotate. switch. Rotate. So, what type of TV shows do you watch? I watch a lot of, again, I kind of, in my free time, go for, like, a what's going to give me zero thoughts mm -hmm. kind of moment. So I watch a lot of like dumb comedy shows. Okay. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. It's like one of my favorites. That's a great show. Bob's Burgers. Okay. L love that show. It's so just, all comedies? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of like live action and um, I feel like animated. Mm -hmm. Like both are good. What is the, there's one like about sex and like, I'm trying so to think. So many shows about sex. It's like an animated comedy. Big Mouth. Oh, Big Mouth. It was like puberty. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, I think, was hilarious. Mm -hmm. And then they made a new one based off of the Hormone Monsters. Oh, really? In Big Mouth. I didn't know there was another one. It's hilarious. So it's oh. about, it's about like, the Hormone Monsters in their world. And they're, like, working, like, these corporate jobs, uh, like, inside of these kids. Interesting. You know? And so there's, like, the... I don't know. They all have like different names and right. different titles and job roles and stuff. That's pretty cool. So that was, yeah, that one's really funny. Sometimes I watch crime shows too. <gasps> oh. But like, like true crime or like? True crime and then like I like documentaries. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the one that's, I think it's called like Don't Fuck With Cats. Oh yeah, yeah. That one, 
absolutely blew my mind. Mm -hmm. I watched it in one sitting. The whole time I was sitting there like, what? This is not real. You know, like I'm on the edge of my seat. Just like, so I do like those. um, But I feel like that takes a lot more thought Mm -hmm. into it. So when I'm like trying to have downtime and relax, I like to watch like the sillier shows. I get that. So, but when I'm like, open-minded and ready i watch i watch my crime shows i'm gonna recommend a really funny show for you okay it's called letter kenny i've seen it i haven't seen it but i've seen like i've seen the if you um, just like something like that's funny and, and like no it. stakes it's canadian yeah. okay but it's very fun yeah it's very fun i'll have to watch it that everyone watching be, should watch that too yeah i watch i may watch that in my hotel tonight Check it out. okay what are you going to go for first? I don't know. I feel like I want to try, like, the vanilla. Oh, yeah. Um, So I might do the vanilla with crumbs. Let's do it. I'm feeling like that's... Because I already tried the strawberry, mm-hmm. and, like, that was good. But I feel like the vanilla needs, like, some love, too. Mm-hmm. You know? It hasn't been used yet, so... Okay. I feel like that's a good enough amount. <laughs> I feel like too much is not fun. Yeah. What are you going to do for yours? I'm going to do like half and half. I'm going to do... Okay. Actually, I may add a little bit of this chocolate on do top. Do it, yes. It's a little messy though. Let's see if I can get it. I might just do little dots. That seems to work. Now it looks like a cute little creation. Aww. Then add the little crumbs. I still want to know, like, what exactly these crumbs are. They're actually from baked donuts that they baked at the factory, and then they gave us the, yeah. the fake ones. Because it's just... That's kind of cute. Yeah. It just, yeah, it does definitely just smell like little, like, actual crumbs. I just wasn't sure. Oh, my gosh, that looks so cute. Right? Wow. I think they both look really cute. They do. I think we did a lot better this time. Now we know what <laughs> we're, we're doing. donut experts now. Yeah. Basically hire us for any donut <laughs> needs, you know? Okay, ready? Ready. Oh, gosh. I can't even pick this one up. It's kind of heavy. <laughs> I feel like it got chewier. <laughs> the sprinkles are very chewy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, guys. Out of, like, 10, what would you rate it? A 6.3. If you like sugar, but don't like baking, this is the product for you. I feel like if it was already pre-made, I would suggest it more. But I feel like that was a lot of effort for such a small size. I want to talk about how well they decorated theirs, because I don't feel like that would have been possible. There's no way. Like, maybe if we had tweezers for placing the sprinkles. Yes, but also, like, even the smiley face. Like, who would have thought about that? I know. Ours were way more creative. Tell them how to follow you on Twitter. Um, my Twitter is spank underscore me underscore please. Obviously, the word underscore is not in there. (laughs) I will tag it in the description. Just to preface. So go follow her immediately. Yes, please follow me. Yay. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, it's Suzanne. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to see more just like that one.